Hey Daisy, how's it going? If you're in a video, that could probably only mean a couple things, huh? Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. And today is definitely, some may say South Dakota residents, this is a holiday. It is pheasant opener for residents, which I'm a resident, so I get to hunt today for pheasants for the very first time in 2021. I'm very excited. Usually my dad and Sam come out, but they all ditch me today, so it's gonna be a solo mission. But before we go any farther, guys, check out the new lid. All right, if you can see that. oh. Oh, check out that shirt too. Bucks just came out with this sexy new hat and some other cool stuff. So you guys should go down to the link and check it out. And if you use my code Mendak at checkout, you guys can actually save some money. So go check out the swag. It's looking sexy. It's gonna bring me some luck today. Hopefully, I'm hoping I can shoot some gosh darn ditch parrots, guys. I'm this. I'm really excited right now because I rarely get to go hunting by myself with just me and the dog and uh, for pheasants, let alone. So. We're gonna keep this intro short. We're at spot number one of the day. We're gonna walk and we're gonna see if we can make something happen. Daisy, are you excited? Daisy, Daisy, are you excited? Are we gonna get some birdies? Huh? Are we gonna get some birdies? All right, she's excited. Let's go get it. All righty, Daisy. Let's see if you remember how to pheasant hunt. Oh my God, this feels weird putting the orange back on and going for some roosters, but I chose this spot. Number one, because you can only hunt public land on pheasant opener. This is public land. Number two, I saw cut corn by this, so I thought it'd be pretty good. We got cut corn over here and on that side, which we absolutely love. I did see some cattle in here though, so I'm hoping the cover's still gonna be somewhat decent, but uh, yeah, here we go, boys. Freaking pumped. Pheasant season 2021. Let's make something happen here. Hen, good job, Daisy. Good girl. Good girl, good girl. Good job, Daisy, come here. Good girl, good job, come here. Good girl, that was a good girl. All right, now look for, look for a rooster, good job. All right, well, we saw that one flush up way ahead of us, and then a hen was holding tight right next to the cut corn, guys, in some cover. So if you guys are looking to hunt something for pheasants and don't know where to begin, look for cut corn and a little bit of cover. This isn't the best cover, but I mean, this is what I had to deal with. I showed up at shooting time with no other backup plan. So we were deciding to hunt it, but Daisy did really good there. Um, that pheasant held tight and it flushed up right there. If that would have been a rooster, I would have liked to have thought I would have got him. But uh, yeah, there we go. All right, come on, this way. Hen, good girl, good girl. All right, hen number two of our little trip. All right, Daisy, come on now. There might be some more here. God, every time a hen comes up, I swear, it scares the living bejizo out of me. Good girl. Daisy just flushed another bird, but it was flying so low to the cattails. I could not tell what it was, but I saw where it landed, so we can uh, circle back there and try flushing it up again. But, you know, this time of year, guys, it's better to be safe than sorry. It's easy to shoot hens, so be careful out there.
and gosh dang it why can nothing be a rooster daisy we were not getting lucky here <sighs> that have been perfect daisy gosh dang it oh good girl proud of you is there a rooster around here Whew. all right guys daisy and i just got done walking the first piece of property and no roosters we ended up flushing up i believe four birds or something like that i don't know so i mean i'm super proud of daisy i saw her working her ass off and uh she was doing good and to get those four birds up i'll take that as a win but unfortunately no roosters uh can't shoot the hens but that's not gonna mean we're gonna end the video here okay we're gonna keep grinding but i want to give daisy a little break because this is the beginning of the year and i don't want to overwork her so we might do some scouting right now um drive around look for some good cover next to some cut corn and uh, go back out at night for an evening send and maybe i'll drag sam out with me so that'd be kind of cool but right now we're gonna just go scouting look for some birds and uh yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit many hours later what up greeble sam what up poppy you ready to clap a pheasant yeah Booster? me and daisy couldn't get it done this morning so i thought i might as well bring you maybe bring, bring some good luck i'm the pheasant god definitely not the pheasant god <laughs> daisy you ready for round two yeah, you look thrilled. You look like you're ready to rip. Well, it's the evening, guys, and Daisy, me, and Sam, we made it out to a spot. We're gonna walk it. It looks pretty good because it's surrounded by corn. Um, one side's cut, one side's standing, and uh, we got about 45 minutes left to shooting light. Some rain's moving in here, so we gotta get a, our move on, but I'm looking to shoot one, man. I need to cook some pheasant. I need some in my mouth. Is that a rooster? Yeah. Oh, it's in the... I couldn't tell, bro. I, c I couldn't see or tell what it was. Hen? Is there another one? Dang it, dude, come on. Give me a rooster, bro. Where are they at, Daisy? Probably the ones you just saw. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh my God. Dude, I would have absolutely pounded that thing. Good girl, good girl. No bird, good girl. Come on, they're in this draw, Daisy. Hey, Daisy, you wanna go this way? Richard! How? Dude. I hit it the first shot, I thought. The bad shooting continues, boys. Now, nah, do you think he died? He might have. Might have been like a heart shot, Yeah. That very first shot, it looked like he... I think we both hit him. I thought he was going down, bro. Honestly. Ha, uh, sure. You can do that. It was over that hill, right? Yeah. Cap. Let's go, we got it down. Still alive, it might fly away. I want you to get ready. Let's go. Well, John and I were hunting and Daisy flushed up a nice rooster pretty close to us. I didn't shoot right away because I didn't have a great shot. Daisy was kind of in the way. I had to kind of wait till she cleared out of the way there. And uh, John hit it. 
and then I'm pretty sure I hit it too, but here is our first South Dakota rooster of our opener here. It's a beautiful bird, as you guys can see. Got some nice spurs, probably a second year bird or maybe a first year, but got a nice little tail on them. Beautiful bird, absolutely beautiful bird. But what will happen is if you shoot one and like the lungs are a weird place, like maybe the heart sometimes, they'll fly for a little ways and then they'll just plump right down. I saw that one plump right down on this hill and then I actually saw two hawks come and land right next to it. So I figured it's probably dead. So I decided to let John and Daisy continue working the field. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna go look for that bird, see if he's on top of that hill because this hill is public. So I came over here, looked, sure enough, went right around where that hawk landed and we got the rooster baby. That is awesome. So well, that's Johnny's first bird. I got good news for him, so. I'm gonna walk this little patch of trees here and uh, see if I can't spook one up myself and uh, see if I can't get one. Fetch him up, Days. Fetch him up. Fetch him up. Good girl. Fetch him up. Dead bird. Dead bird. A pheasant got up a ways, and uh, I literally took a long poke at it. Got him on the second shot with the hypersonics. That was a three and a half inch hypersonic, because um, that's all I had. And this is gonna be a tough retrieve for Daisy, because it's in this deep stuff. So we're just gonna see what happens here. Dead bird, Days. Oh, well, I just spent, oh, hen, that scared the crap out of me. There's a little hen right there. Just spent the last 10, 15 minutes looking for that bird. It was on private property, so I had to leave my gun. Um, and then I crossed the fence to go look for it. Could not find the gosh darn thing. And I don't blame Daisy or even myself because when you drop stuff uh, in the corn like that and tall, thick stuff with not a really good marking on it, it's really hard to find those birds, so. Unfortunately, that does happen sometimes. Um, I don't know if Sam was able to find that one that we we both shot at earlier. He went to go look for that bird. Um, if he did, that'd be awesome. If not, uh, it's kind of a long shot as well, but <sighs> disappointed myself because we should have shot that one, me and Sam, easily. It was the easiest shot ever. I don't know what I was doing. I probably was behind it because I suck, um, but I missed that. And then I couldn't find this one. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm a little bit bummed. Meanwhile. Come here. Sit. I saw a hawk swoop down on our bird. There's like two hawks circling it and one swooped down on it. I was like, what the f And I just take off and run. But you saw the bird? Yeah. Are you serious? It was like 100 yards away. It's, it's, you can see in there very well. Oh. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, and then my gun jammed. Yeah, so it was just like probably or something. Yeah. She's gonna pop up a hen right here that you were standing by. Oh yeah, probably. Dude. There's a lot of Come here. I didn't even get to walk the whole thing. Oh, we <laughs> just got it again. Let's yeah, boy. go. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, no way, bro. No. What, what happened? I saw the hot soup on it, so I carried him over there and scared him off and I picked him up. Are you serious? Lit. He was dead over there? Yeah. Let's go, I knew, baby. bro, I knew. By how his feet were dangling and how it's flying and how it landed, I was like, long shot. Had to. You're been. right. Cause we, there's no way we missed. I that know one. we both hit it. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. You, I was like, why is he still recording? <laughs> <laughs> but, but boy. Oh, you're a. Hey, let's go. Yeah, bro, it's your bird. I can't believe. Oh, <laughs> I we, we don't know. We don't know that. We'll find out when we clean it. Oh god, that's awesome. It's a nice one too. That is. Yeah, nice. one of the spurs broke off. It's probably a oh, first, second year bird yeah. though. It's got a nice tail. Beautiful. Nice. Congrats, brother. One hour later. How was your dinner, Daisy? Was it good? You earned it today. You did so good today, puppers. I'm proud of you. And I'm proud of you, too. Thanks, Dad. Minus the fact that you played me. Nice, very nice. Whew. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Sam and I just got back uh, to the old Mindak OG crib. And we fed Daisy, gave her some water, and we cleaned the pheasant. But Sam and I, we're a little bit hungry after doing all that walking today. Well, I did a lot of walking today. I'm for sure hungry. So 
We got some pheasant. Obviously, we're going to cook it up tonight and do a little catch and cook. Sheesh! That looks super good. And it looks like there's not even a BB in there because I was behind on every shot and shot it in the butt. We love that. I had this idea on uh, what we could do for a dinner. Actually, Sam and I had a really good idea. Tomorrow morning, we were going to wake up and go get um, some awesome cooking supplies and make an awesome breakfast. And we uh, some plans came up and Sam and I can't use this, so we're gonna go shoot some ducks tomorrow. And um, so, so yeah, and geese. And cranes. And cranes and specs. Maybe this all might happen. I don't know. But anyways, um, we're not going to do that idea. We're going to save that idea for probably next weekend when it's the non-resident opener. Um, so for these birds that we got tonight, we're going to do a quick little pan sear. And then we're going to put them in some stroganoff. So we're going to have pheasant stroganoff tonight. My mom was kind enough to already pre-make us some stroganoff. And shoot, doggy, that looks good. That looks good. But we're going to pan sear this with some butter, it looks like. And then chop it up and put it inside here. Do you think that's going to be good, Daisy? So I'm sorry we're not going all out on this catch and cook. I promise the next pheasant video we post, it will be more all out. Um, but yeah, we're going to cook this pheasant and try not to starve yourselves on this. That looks good. It smells good too. I think it's gonna taste like chicken. All right guys, our stroganoff is done and it looks so delicious. Check it out. Mm, mm, mm. So we have beef and pheasant stroganoff today on the menu for Mindac. And we're gonna try a nakey piece here. This is just butter and some seasoning. So super, super plain. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Holy cow. So juicy, so many flavors. I wish everything tasted like that, my goodness. Look at that thing. Get a little stroganoff. Good chunk of pheasant on top there. Cheers to you, cheers to you, Daisy. Mm. Is it weird with the combination or is it good? I like it. Instead of using beef, it's chicken, basically. I did not taste any gamey flavor at all. It was nice and juicy and it wasn't tough at all. It just broke, fell right apart. All right, Daisy. I think she deserves a little piece of okay. pheasant, bro. She worked so hard today. Okay. Good girl. Daisy, what do you think about it? Tail wagon. I think she liked it. All right, guys, I'm about to try this. And yes, I'm in my underwear. Seems like every video I film, I'm in my underwear. But you just get, you get the, the meat sweats, you know? So you gotta shed some layers. Here we go, I'm gonna try the stroganoff bite with some pheasant. Mmm. Mmm. Dude. I low, I high key wish there wasn't any meat in there. Like if you guys do this, I would suggest putting no meat in it and just pheasant. Such a good combination, my goodness. You can go to the store, get the hamburger helper, and it comes actually with no meat. So if you buy that packet and substitute the ground beef for pheasant or whatever other game, so delicious. But Sam and I are gonna finish eating this and then uh, go to sleep because we have some big plans tomorrow, which hopefully you guys see the video of that in the future. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, this was the 2021 resident pheasant opener and Daisy and I had a blast, Sam had a blast. I am super thankful Sam went and looked for that one that we shot because honestly, I was like, oh, I don't know if that's gonna be dead or alive. And Sam said, I'm gonna go look for it because I think we lung shot it um, or heart shot it because of the way it went down over the hill that we couldn't see, it looked like something was up. And yes, that was really bad shooting. Sam and I need to clean, it. Sam and I need to clean up our shooting. Uh, that thing should have just gotten poofed. Recent geese so like oh well, yeah yards. we're yeah we've been hammering geese lately at like 15 yards so it is a lot different but that's there's no excuses there guys i need to clean up my shooting so does sam uh but i will give daisy the 10 out of 10 today i thought you did very good for the season opener your first time in 2021 girl you killed it 
you flush it up a lot of birds and yeah you look cute doing the process thank you guys so much for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel and we will catch you guys on the next one <laughs>